Hey guys. So, <laughs> I literally have really, really been slacking with my, um, with my recording, well, documenting my days. I've been really, really slacking, but, do you know what, let me not beat myself up about it and just you know vlog whenever i can vlog or as i say document whenever i can document um yeah i'm just like making my way back from the hospital <sighs> basically i didn't really like filming there but i think it's got to the point where like my mom called me and I had to get the call but as I was saying yeah I've just like come back from the hospital um I had like a, a um an appointment for a blood transfusion because my health has just been really not good hasn't been the best to be fair um I was gonna go straight home but then I was like let me just go to the park and sit down because I've been wanting to come to the park and sit down and just like meditate like write in my journal think about like things and how everything has just been for me recently not even recently maybe the past year and a half two years um, more so recently because I feel like I'm in a transitioning stage and what I mean by that, I feel like my life is on track. My life is like starting to change. I'm starting to um, get to know myself on a deeper level. And because I'm getting to know myself, there's certain things that I'm starting to do that are beneficial for me as a person to grow and just my health mentally spiritually emotionally physically um there's just so many things that i'm starting to do i'm gonna try and uh, i think i want to sit down here i think this is a good spot probably here I like the fact that it hasn't um, rained, so I can actually sit on the grass. Yeah. I thought this would have been a good spot, but this is the best spot. And I'm going to see if I can try and position my camera. As I was saying, like, there's so many things that I'm happy about in my life right now. Even though I'm not in the space, in the place that I want to be, I'm not, like financially rich i'm not um i don't have my own place <sighs> i just i don't have like certain things but those are like materialistic things and sometimes i feel like we kind of classify having materialistic things um if i mean if we have these type of materialistic things that everyone else has that that is kind of like a guarantee of happiness but sometimes you can have all those things and still not be happy i'm not gonna lie obviously like it's good to have money it's good to have those things because they're kind of like ease the comfort of worrying about money and worrying about all those things but at the end of the day i feel like just you're having clarity in your mind and just like being good physically, being good emotionally, mentally, spiritually, um, all those things like are like a big factor in being happy and living an abundant life. They just a big factor and I feel like when you're lacking in those areas, especially for example health, like you can have all the money and stuff like that but if your health is not on point, you won't be happy um, and emotionally mentally if you're not well you're still not going to be happy and I've realized that 
I've been living in this like cycle where I've just put people on this pedestal above myself and I've believed that I am not deserving of goodness and I don't know where that stems from and I know that I've always been like a people pleaser I've always put other people before before me like I've always like been the person that would spend so much on this person and then when it comes to me I'll kind of contemplate do I really need to spend that much for myself I've always been that person and at like when I was in that kind of um world I thought that it was a good thing and being good obviously is good and you get blessings and stuff like that but at the same time you kind of need to be smart about it and you need to kind of think about yourself as well because at the end of the day just like my um, psychologist was saying um is it my psychologist or someone else that said that when you give and give and give <laughs> The, like the person's not gonna say oh no no stop giving me like I don't have had enough like don't you don't need to like it's, it's cool it's cool no whoever you keep giving and giving like anyone that you keep giving and giving to they'll just keep taking and taking and taking and then they'll never say to you stop like it's enough like you've given enough like there's no cap to how much someone can just keep taking and taking and taking from you you just have to realize that Am I, I think it's just a, a question about, am I really in a position where I should be giving and giving and giving and if not, then I shouldn't be doing that and just not attaching the feeling of guilt because I feel like I, guilt follows me everywhere and it's followed me everywhere all my life, like since I've been young, ever since I, I can remember, like if I do, don't do certain things for people, I just feel guilty automatically and I'm just learning that I need to put myself first and if I'm in the position of being able to give and give and help people out then that's fine but if my cup is empty then what am I giving like I'm basically draining myself I'm literally draining myself dry just to make sure that other people are fine and then neglecting myself and I feel like sometimes a lot of us do that and you get to a space and a place where you're so drained and you can't do it anymore and you're 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 the person that everyone looks up to you're the person who's meant to be strong and you just get to this space where you're just tired of being strong you're tired because you just want to be you want to be vulnerable and you want to embrace your emotions you don't want to suppress them anymore um and that's exactly the space i'm in right now i just want to to i want to acknowledge my emotions i don't want to ignore them anymore because the more i ignore it's kind of like having a wound and you just put a bandage over it and you're meant to clean the wound you're meant to take care of it but because you don't want to see it you don't want to acknowledge the, that the fact that the wound is there you just keep covering up covering it up and covering it up and so if you don't like put anything like any like disinfectant or anything like that like sooner or later that wound is going to become infected and it's going to be worse than when you first got the cut and i feel like that's exactly what I've been doing like all my life I've kind of been suppressing all my emotions I'm not really an emotional person I am now like I'm starting to be in touch with how I feel asking myself how do I feel do I like this do I like that um is this for me is this if it's not for me then who is it for like if it's not for me then why am I doing it and I just need to stop covering up the wounds and kind of address them and this video is like all over the place but I, I feel like it's like an outlet for how I'm feeling like I'm starting to develop emotional 
like my emotional side and it's quite it's quite important because like it just helps in you discovering who you really are and being a well-rounded person and being in touch with that emotional side so that you kind of can navigate how how you feel how other people treat you what you like what you dislike sun's coming out yeah so everything that i'm doing now everything like is intentional and i don't want to be perfect anymore i want to be authentic like because perfection does not exist and i feel like we live in a world where social media like all these things that people are doing like on social media like when you come, when you look at what your friends are doing what's everyone up to like it's just all of it is just perfection but really and truly if you kind of if you look at how those people got to where they are you know that it's actually not perfect and sometimes what people have maybe you're not meant to have it like maybe it's not your time to have it and maybe you're meant to be in a season where you get to know yourself you get to know who you are um, you discover yourself because sometimes we trick ourselves and tell ourselves that we know who we are when we don't and I really like I'm peeling back off the layers so I, I am not like I don't want to be perfect anymore I'm not hiding I'm just gonna like I'm not afraid like of what people are gonna say or what people are gonna think about me anymore I'm not hiding behind a mask I'm not um, pretending that I'm okay when I'm not okay today I was listening to um, Mabel has this song called um, okay and she says like one of the lyrics is I mean the main lyric chorus I mean is it's okay not to be okay and it really is okay not to be okay it's okay to 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 kind of acknowledge the fact that you're not okay and if you're like I don't know if you if people ask you how you are and you really don't want to tell them just you know just tell them you're um just say that you're not okay but obviously just say that you don't want to like delve into it but I feel like we save ourselves a lot of heartache a lot of um, time if we just really and truly acknowledge our feelings and for me the reason if I'm not okay and I'm gonna say I'm not okay it's because I'm trying to eliminate people pleasing and I'm trying to be honest with myself because what's the point in <laughs> what's the point in lying to people and saying that yeah you're fine and then for example they ask you out and they say oh let's go out let's do this and you're like yeah yeah I can come out and because you're people pleaser and you want you want to please everyone you want everyone to be happy you decide to put yourself in a painful position all because you want to please people we I can't do that anymore I need to every single time when anything's happening I need to ask myself am I putting myself is this a powerful position or is this a painful position and if it's a painful position why am I doing it because why am I doing that to myself because I want to please people and I want to have fun temporarily and in the long run I'm causing damage to myself to my health to <laughs> to my mental I'm doing things I don't want to do like I'm getting older now and I just feel like time is of the essence time is important and before I just had no in inclination of time and I thought I had all the time in the world I still have time but I don't know how much time I have and I feel like every single thing that I do with my life with my friends I just want it to be intentional and I want everything to be authentic I don't want anything to be like pretense anymore to be fake so me doing this this diary I just feel like I'm on this journey 
of discovering myself being the best version of myself there's so many things that i want to achieve and i just want you guys to see the reality of me achieving these things it's not going to happen like in one day and i don't, I don't want to just do a video when i've achieved all, all my things or when i've arrived and i'm this perfect esther and i'm this motivational esther and you guys are like wow i want to be like her like how has she got there how has she arrived but you guys haven't seen the picture before a lot of people loved my motivational videos they loved all these things but people didn't see that people didn't see the behind the scenes when i was having like when i was feeling low when i was having breakdowns and i was so unsure about myself i was doubting myself i was second guessing myself i was asking for second opinions third opinions like i couldn't make decisions by myself for myself i had to I knew what I wanted but I had to like ask someone else what they thought and if they were if they didn't think the same I felt like oh maybe what I want to do is not really good enough or what I'm thinking is not good enough like so I want you guys to see that in every journey there's ups and downs there's twists and turns there's <laughs> there's times when you feel emotional there's times when you feel down there's times when you feel excited it's just a roller coaster of emotions and it's not easy like greatness is not easy like if you want to be great you have to go through some stuff and those things that you go through yo the stuff that you go through you sometimes question like god why am i going through this like it's not fair and obviously it's not fair but you have to kind of like carry your cross everyone has to carry their cross no one else is going to carry a cross for you and i don't know if you know like if you know what i mean by that phrase carry your cross no one else is going to pick pick up your burdens no one else is going to pick up your struggles all of that stuff you have to do it for yourself in order to become your future self because your future self is depending on you to go through whatever you're going through and whatever you're going through is not it's not um anything that you go through is not an accident it's not a mistake right now i don't know why i'm going through what i'm going through like my body like being like weak <laughs> not doing what it's meant to do like not ha like <laughs> not having any money like i don't know why like i'm going through these things in my in this season but i can't question god like he knows and maybe in order for me to be the person that i need to be in the future to get strong mentally physically emotionally spiritually i have to be the person i have to go through whatever i'm going through now so that when i'm when i meet the future esther i'm strong enough because i know the struggle so yeah Today hasn't been bad. I woke up early, went to the hospital, had my transfusion. I have a few more appointments. I have an appointment tomorrow. I have an appointment next week. And I'll be I'll be talking about these things. I don't wanna live in the dark anymore. I don't wanna pretend that it everything's okay when it's really not okay. And and the thing is you are, people might watch this and think why am i doing this like i don't really need to do this but i'm doing this for myself <sighs> this is like therapy for me this is like an outlet because sometimes you know you have an, a build up of excuse me of emotions and you just sit there crying and <laughs> it's like this heavy feeling and i can't explain it but when you journal when you like like now me talking to the camera um it's like an outlet i don't know what i'm talking about i might watch this in a couple of months time and think wow <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't chatting a lot of crap like i was actually making sense but i'm not gonna stop i know i'm resilient i know i'm strong i know i'm bold I know I am successful <laughs> I, I'm like so many things I just 
I don't even know I don't feel it now I don't feel successful um I just I don't have money but I know like God like owns <laughs> the cattle on a thousand hills so I know I've got it like any struggles I'm going through now I know that they're they're sorted God sorted them out for me I just have to believe in my mind that it's okay everything is gonna be okay everything's gonna be okay and if you're feeling down you're feeling low just pick up your phone talk to yourself or take a journal get a journal write down how you feel and all those feelings they're valid they're not invalid that like it's okay to have those feelings and go through the process don't don't try and suppress the process don't try, don't try and rush the process so yeah i'm gonna go um i'm gonna go and make some food for myself for today this this vlog is this video diary vlog whatever 19 minutes long <laughs> probably gonna be around 20 minutes long and that's okay that's fine the sun's coming back out maybe i can sit here and meditate for a little bit and then you know I can make my way home.